What's up, guys? Entrepreneur for Jesus here, T Mac. I just wanted to show you guys what's up, what's up, what's up. How I. There we go. <laughs> oh, I wanted to show you guys how I made fifty-five hundred dollars. Forty-three, fifty-five, forty-three, twenty-nine. This past month, from the thirtieth. September 30th to November 3rd. I, I tracked all my stats here. How, uh, how much money I've made on each platform. See, with Lyft, I got Lyft, Uber, Via, Postmates, DoorDash, Wag, Caviar, Postmates on a bike, and Uber Eats on a bike. And I tried GoPuff once, but I don't think I'm going to keep doing that. I really enjoy these biking ones, and that's what I think I'm going to focus on this month. Since I made pretty good cash, I don't need to be sitting in a car, sedentary, and putting all those miles on my car. Although, those definitely were the most profitable things for me. Lyft especially, see. With Lyft, I made two grand last month, nearly, nearly two grand. Uber, about fourteen forty. I'll show you put a new color on here there see with lyft that's how much i made last month like 33 days whatever 34 days and then with uber 1440 so i try i tracked it all for each week and then i compiled it all at the end so with lyft and uber combined it was about 3500 dollars but what was actually really good here was a wag and caviar. It was an extra $600 each here. Wag is walking dogs and caviar is delivering food. And I did it, I was doing it on a bike mostly. So it's pretty solid for just biking around, delivering food, and then for wag, just walking dogs. It was it was great to get some exercise, meet some new dogs, see some new neighborhoods, see some how some people live. It's pretty interesting. It's awesome that people are so trustworthy that, you know, here's a key to my house, come walk my dog. And then you want to make sure that you validate that trust, you know, keep good take care of their dog, make sure their home is still intact. If it's raining outside, don't let the dogs muddy paws, you know, get throughout their house. And they pay well. Some, pe some people tip really well, too. Like, I didn't track all the tips on WAG or on Caviar. I don't think I did. Maybe I did. Yeah, with t with the, it was almost $91 in tips on WAG. Almost 100 bucks for the month. And then same thing with Caviar. $86 for the month just in tips. So what also helped was Postmates and Uber. Those were also good. For Postmates, I generally just chase the bonuses here in Chicago. They pay $4 per delivery on a bike, and not as many people tipped. I mean, I guess people, some people did tip. $63 in tips with Postmates for 43 deliveries I did. So, I mean, that's not, I guess that's not too bad. But overall, dollar per hour, I've got... I, see, I've got two things down here. Dollar per hour online and dollar per hour on the job. So I tracked the time that I was actually online. Like I turned the app on and then I started, I tracked the time there for myself. When you review the stats on the apps, they don't say exactly what time you were online. They stay, they start, they show you the time that you accepted the delivery and then when you dropped it off, depending on the app. So, I got both of them listed here, but I, I'm just, I'm pretty conservative. So I'm saying the dollar per hour online. So the dollar per hour online with WAG was about $12 because although it was half hour walks, it would still take me time to, yeah, like I'm sitting somewhere, I accept the walk and then I, it takes me time to go to the walk find the key, unlock it, unlock the key from the lockbox, unlock the house, find the dog, find the collar, find the leash, walk the dog, bring the dog back inside, put the leash back, 
give him give the dog a treat or whatever write a report about how the dog walk went you know share the adventure story give all the details and specifics put the lock back and then that's the end so i i included all of that time in my dollar per hour here um just to make it the most conservative not to freak myself out here thinking i'm making 30 dollars an hour since it's only half hour walks that's technically the time i was working you know like that's but that's not really accurate you know but so i mean 12 12 bucks an hour for caviar and wag is pretty good but um and about 10 dollars $10 for postmates and uber that's not really accurate 16 dollars per hour uh uber eats on the bike because um uh, luckily i got a hundred dollar bonus there i wrote that down a hundred dollar bonus that i wasn't expecting which was really nice i guess after 20 deliveries they they shot me a hundred dollar bonus which i didn't i didn't know was coming but i took that hundred dollar bonus out and that changes the the dollar per hour to about like 10. actually i think it changes it to eight so caviar on the bike pays the most 10 on Postmates pays the second most, Uber pays the least. But I also was chasing Postmates bonuses as well, so if, maybe if I didn't chase those bonuses, whatever, but ultimately Caviar is the best. And I didn't achieve the milestones with Caviar. Caviar also offers bonuses, which I'm going to go for this month. But those are the least paying here. Those are the things that paid me the least since it didn't require my car. Over here, Lyft was about 20 Uber was about 12, 19 and Via paid the most. I only did six rides with Via though. But I mean, ultimately with all of these apps, I got DoorDash, that Postmates in my car. I mean, it's pretty fantastic. GoPuff, I just did one time was $93 for a six hour, a six hour shift. So it's 15, 50 per hour. That's putting a lot of miles on my car. When I don't have to, I can make more with Uber, Lyft, and Via. And I'm cool. I, I generally enjoy meeting new people, talking with passengers, learning from their life stories. It's very interesting. It's awesome, the people you get to interact with, with Lyft, Uber, and Via, which I do enjoy. But I just don't want to... I want to kind of pay my car off first and have some savings in the bank before I really risk, risk you know, totally overdoing it on my car. And then I don't have a car. And then be forced to only make money with with Uber or Lyft and Uber and Postmates and Caviar. I wanna make more money without the expenses of um, gas and putting mileage on my car. I wanna kinda pay my car off soon. Although right now I'm paying a lot in car insurance. I'm paying like $400 a month in car insurance, which is pretty crazy. So that's why I gotta make all this kind of this kind of money here, so that I can pay all these pills that I've got. But there it is, guys. I know it's not exactly everything shown with screenshots from Uber and Uber and Lyft with QuickBooks or nothing like that. But maybe maybe if you really want to see it, I can prove it with those websites. But that, that's what I got here. I made fifty five hundred dollars from November, so from September third to November 3rd, from September 30th to November 3rd, mostly in the month of October. I made, in the month of October, I calculated it, I made $5,000. Pretty solid. Most money I've ever earned in one month ever. And you guys can do it too, just with these apps. It's pretty awesome. Living in America and Chicagoland, that you can make this kind of money. It's all pre-tax, of course. So I've got the QuickBooks app over here that tracks all of my expenses. Well, this is actually my other phone, but on my, my work phone, my business phone, I've got QuickBooks and Sherpa Share, which tracks my mileage. And QuickBooks records my expenses and my income. So I, I tracked it all over here too. I flipped, I flipped all this stuff around to kind of see what I did the most here. made the most in tips from Lyft. Let's see. 
Is he uh, the most in tips from Lyft? The second most was from WAG. And I put almost a thousand miles. That's what Lyft says from the Lyft app, but really Sherpa Share shows how much mileage I really put on, which was closer to 4,500 miles for the whole month with everything added up. But uh, and then, I, and then I got everything recorded for the weeks here, each week. The first week was only 760. The next week was nearly 1,200. This week was almost 1,000. This was my biggest week because Lyft had that bonus. If I gave, if I gave 80 rides, 80 ri if I gave eight, like 80 rides for one week, then I would, they would guarantee $1,200. So I was like, all right, I'm totally doing that. And so th the, the, these, this, this isn't the same week. That was the qualifying week for Lyft. So some of these rides I gave here and here, but it was like 80 rides. And that's where this bonus comes from, $400 bonus, because they had to, because I did not make it $1,200 guaranteed. So they had to compensate me, which was good. And I had the power driver bonus for that week, so Lyft was definitely the where I made the most money from. But it was good to have, you know, extra income if I did have a downtime or if I was do, going to a de doing a destination filter, I didn't get any with Lyft, but I would get one with Uber. It was good to have multiple options there. But yeah, there it is, guys. You guys can make this kind of money each week. Because I did it last, I mean, I get it. You got to put your time in. I'll show you. My average hours per week was nearly 70 hours per week I put in of time online, you know, time recorded. When I began and when I turned all the apps off and was not working, just sleeping. So you got to put the time in if you want to make that kind of money. But hey, I had to. I got bills to pay. And that was my goal. And I hit it. So, I think I'm going to start uh, making as much money as I can with just the bikes. Actually, what I'm focusing on now is DoorDash is offering $1,000 referral fees, referral bonuses. If I refer someone that gives 200 deliveries in 50 days. I'm not a big fan of DoorDash, as you can see, it's like $10 an hour. But hey, other people I see on YouTube make good money doing it. So maybe I can refer someone that enjoys it and they make good money and they're happy. They do 200 deliveries in 50 days and I get a bonus for that. So I'm, I'm gonna try something out here, so try something new, do some like affiliate marketing. I'm going to post these ads on Craigslist in all the different towns that DoorDash operates with my referral link and see what happens. I got nothing to lose right now. Luckily, I made all this kind of money last month that I, I'm pretty good at my bills this month. <laughs> but that's where I'm at right now, guys. Thanks for listening. I got my website set up, too. Maybe I'll put it in the description so you can see. I got all my bonuses listed. Making things happen. Peace.